Okay, so now that we're on the hard, uh, the jobs are gonna begin. So some of the main things that we wanna get done, uh, we really need to do a, a service on the sail drives, both of them. Um, the oil has not been changed fully in those since we were in the, the Dominican. So it's been a while. We also wanna finish the hard tops. So there is a metal worker here, so he's gonna come and give us a look and uh, see how quickly we can get that done. That also means that we're gonna take the hard top off, flip it over and finally finish it. So I know you guys will be looking forward to that one. Um, I'm looking at my list here. All right, so where was I before my battery died? So I was looking at my list of jobs that we need to accomplish while we're on the hard. It looks a little bit daunting at the moment just because we've only just come out of the water. So we wanna tackle as much as possible. Um, my first job, I'm gonna be painting all of the um, the lockers basically. So the back lazarette, the sail, uh, the sail lockers, the anchor locker and the engine rooms as well. Um, so for doing this, I'm going to use a product from Total Boat. So I'm gonna use their Total Bilge, epoxy bilge paint. So it's protective, durable, uh, repels oil and grease, so it's really easy to clean. Great for bilges, bolt heads, and lockers. So up in these sail lockers that I'm gonna paint now, um, we throw random things in there for storage. Um, so this should protect it and right now it kind of looks atrocious. So I'll give you a tour first and show you what it looks like after I painted it. All right, so way back in Puerto Rico, Davey did some epoxy repairs up in there. So I'm gonna paint all this section. It's gonna bring it back to life. I just can't, uh, I have to figure out how to not paint my feet. So I'll probably do one section and uh, wait till it to dry and then do another coat. But it's gonna look so much better. All right, so we have come to the conclusion that we probably should have a mask of some description because this paint smells very strong. Um, and it's a very small hole. Well, there's a big space, but it's a small hole. So I think I'm getting a bit high on paint fumes. Um, my Fitbit was telling me that my resting heart rate was at 148. Not resting heart rate, but my heart rate was at 148. So it was beating really fast. So I think I'm high on paint fumes and I'm only about halfway done. So I know I have to get back in there and I have to finish it. Um, but I'm only gonna do one coat. One good coat, one thick good coat. Stick your head in and you smell the paint fumes already. I don't even think I'm halfway. Guys, this is not a fun job. Yeah, if I can stay on the, on the ground. Watch out. Hey, that square bucket that I had, I broke it. What bucket? The rectangle one. You passed me for the sink. Why? I sat on it in the bottom row. Good job. Swear it. So what? What's turd? Turd. Sanding disc that we have. Greg, thank you for the sanding disc, but they're turd. They're <laughs> not good. I don't know, last two seconds. <laughs> so well, Davy's. Davy's complaining about. <laughs> Davy's complaining about sanding disc, and I'm just stoned ass up here because of the paint. Yeah, she's got slitty eyes. She probably has some ventilation in there, but. What ventilation? <laughs> Stick your head out once in a while. There's no ventilation! Get back in the hole, get stoned. I need okay, so before we may have been slightly pretending, but now we're like full on stoned. Like, oh my god. I'm not even gonna go down in there, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So, as you can see, it looks a little bit better. Except for there. So. Obviously gonna have to paint the part where my feet are, um, but I'm gonna wait until tomorrow. <sighs> what was I saying? Seriously though, that's some good paint. Like, you know a good paint? When you can smell a good paint and it smells like... About what? What are you doing? I think the only thing we need to talk about is the state of Erica. She shouldn't be in an enclosed area with paint fumes. Because she looks as stoned as you can get. <laughs> she can't stop doing? giggling. What am I doing? I'm working on the sail drives, guys. But, uh, they've actually been protected pretty damn well. Um, I put an epoxy barrier coat and then anti-foul on them. 
and looks like everything's been protected really well. It's actually really hard to get it off. Uh, but this time I'm actually going to use the proper system with the uh, spray paint for the um, sail drives and with the props. So I need to get everything back to bare aluminium and yeah, then we can uh, paint them up. More so with the sail drives, I'm going to be changing the water seal. The water, so basically this is like a prop shaft in here and there's a little seal that protects the oil and the water. So I'm going to change that one out and then we should be good to go. And the oil. And the oil, obviously. I'm going to drain that as well. But... I also sanded a little bit there. That's what we need to get it back to. Ready for paint? What? Just look at the boat. Where? Well, you don't see where I've sanded it? All right, guys. I think I need to get Erica in the shower and get her some oxygen and um, sort her out. She's been uh, indulging. Okay, so welcome to day two on the hard. Yesterday we were actually really productive. Not only did we get blocked up and we weren't sat on the uh, lift all day, um, but we pressure washed the bottom, cleaned all the barnacles off, I got to painting the sail locker, Davey got to uh, set to work on the sail drives, which he's started on already this morning. It's bright and early. Um, but it's we've done a really good start, much better than last time we were on the hard. I feel like we're more prepared this time, um, have a better understanding of what we've got ourselves into, and we definitely want to do less time on the hard this time. Hopefully, we're hoping for three weeks. Um, last time it was nine months, so three weeks will definitely be better. Um, so keep your fingers crossed that we can stick to that. Um, I'm going to show you my sail locker quickly, and then I'll take you downstairs and show you what Davey's up to. And let's get this day cracking. So far I'm super impressed with this paint, like it, I only did one coat like I said yesterday um, and it goes on so nicely and smoothly and you can see in there at the bottom um, what it used to look like before with some of the stains and stuff on it and this paint just covered all that stuff up and it looks 10 times better, um, so super pleased. And before anyone tells me off, I know I should have been wearing a respirator and probably a sperm suit as we call them, like a PPE uh, protection suit. I understand and I'm going to do that today when I'm doing more painting. Uh, that smell was a bit too strong yesterday um, and I don't really want to be stoned for the next three days while I'm doing painting. So don't worry, I'll be a little bit more sensible uh, coming up <laughs> or I'll try to be. So Davey, Davey definitely told me off yesterday for not wearing a respirator while I was painting, um, but he did also laugh at me because I was in quite a state. Well, I can't found it high as a kite. We have the safety gear. Use it! <laughs> the day two for me is going pretty good. Down here on the starboard side, I have painted the bilge. Um, so I'll show you that. It's come up so much nicer. And this paint is meant to it's a one component, extremely durable epoxy coating that prevents your bilge against moisture penetration and helps prevent the absorption of oil, fuel, solvents, and sludge into woods, wood and fiberglass. It's fast drying formula is easy to apply. I don't need to read that. But no, so far it has dried really, really quick. The fumes were a bit strong when I first painted it on, um, but now that that's dried, it is so much better. So. Next step, I'm going to put the floors back down so I can get that shop back out of the bathroom and I can start on the other side. Will I be able to take it off? So I've just pulled out the floor on the port side. Down in this build, we store hose pipes, uh, bungees. But down here, after I took all that stuff out, um, I found what looks like salt deposits. It's really weird. It's not wet at all, but it's really salty. So I wonder if that come from, I don't know, when Davy was fixing the head down on this side, maybe there was water that came down, but it's only in this part of the boat. So it's a mystery at the moment. All right, let's clean it up. All right, so all cleaned up and painted down here in this build, except for one part. Oh, gotta get down. Um, 
So this has nothing to do with the salt deposits that I found, but there is still one repair that needs to be done just here on the stringer. Um, Davey said that this was from before, from Loop Run. Um, he just never got around to doing it. Um, forgot about it, I don't know. Um, so we're gonna have to do that repair before I can finally finish off the bilge. Which means that my sticky note that says bilges now says bilge repair and it cannot come off the wall just yet. I'm pooped. <laughs> we just finished sanding the bottom. I think I'm very dirty. Davey, you didn't tell me I had dust everywhere. Oh, it's everywhere. <laughs> um, but that means we can take one off. Happy days. All right, so the bottom has been successfully sanded. It looks quite good. So if you remember back to the Dominican when we did the bottom painting last time, um, we did a hard bottom paint in a red color, um, which you can kind of see coming through here. And then we did, I think we had three or four gallons of black ablative that we put then on top of the red. So once you start seeing red coming through when you clean the bottom, that means that it's time to get a haul out. That side looks a little bit better. It's more black, but this side you can definitely see the red coming through. Um, so I guess it is a good thing that we hold it up so we can get some more bottom paint on. Maybe you painted that side last time. There's not enough paint on it. <coughs> you and Jen. <laughs> One of the boys were doing this side. It was me, Patrick, um, Dan. <coughs> so our side, the girl's side. I don't think that is the case. I do remember <coughs> when we did the black ablative on the outside of the starboard hull, that's when we were running low on paint. So I was trying to get it on there as best I could, but I know it was thinner on the outside, not so much on the inside. Davy's just full of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it there, shall we? I really need to go take a shower and get this paint, or this dust off of me. Yeah, I think we'll just call it there a day. Yeah, we don't want to burn a, ourselves out. It's a Sunday morning, we've got this, stuff. Well, it's a Sunday afternoon now, but we started early, Sunday morning. Yeah. So. And we're, we've come a long way. A long way. One sail drive is pretty much done. I haven't talked about that much, but I'm going to go into a bit of detail. I did one sail drive first, and then I thought, so that I get used to these sail drives, and I thought I'd do a little bit of a how-to video because I know how it goes on the second one. <laughs> so uh, Practice first. I think I'll film that tomorrow. Explain That'll be my, tomorrow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but no, we've on, this, this is day three. Yeah. And I feel like we're, we've been so much more productive than we were last time. Two of us are working there. I worked last time. <laughs> no, Erica's I feel like we've been a lot more focused on the uh, on the yard work this time. She doesn't want to get stuck in the yard for nine months. No, I so don't she want said, nine she months. She said she's going to work the same as me. Um, yeah. And she's done a great but job with the sand. Even the just time. holding out this GoPro right now with my arm, my right arm is starting to shake. All right, guys, we're going to leave it there. Let's go get uh, Sunday showers and uh, maybe treat ourselves to a bit of lunch. We already had lunch. Second lunch. That was just for the camera. Second lunch? We can have a second lunch. Ice cream? <laughs> All right, day four. Um, yesterday we just did decide to take a little bit of a break um, as it was Sunday and we had worked super hard sanding the bottom of the boat. Um, so today my plan was to, uh, to paint the bottom of the boat, but it says there could possibly be thunderstorms today. So I don't really want to do that in case all my paint gets washed off. Um, and it is a little bit windy, so there might be another cold front coming. So painting the bottom might have to wait a day or two. So instead, I've decided to start on the anchor locker, which is a mess. Let me show you. It's disgusting. I don't know how it gets so gross. Well, obviously this side here, that's where the chain comes up. So that's all mud and stuff from Stuart. So I'm definitely going to have to clean that side out. But this side just seems like it's collected grossness. So the mission is going to be to clean it out. I might try and get a hose up here so that I can clean it out properly. Um, or just bucket it. 
but I have to make sure there's nothing underneath the boat that's gonna get wet because um, obviously there's a little hole that uh, leaks out there. Once it's all cleaned then I'm gonna paint it with a total boat um, total bilge bilge paint so it'll make it look nice and fresh and hopefully we won't be anchoring in any more muddy places so it'll stay clean with the Bahamas sand hopefully. In saying that, I should also say that our plans have changed slightly. We were originally going to go across Lake Okeechobee and up the west coast of Florida, but that plan has changed. <laughs> our, as we've said many times, our plans are always written in the sand at low tide. So, sorry, changing plans once again. <laughs> we won't be going that direction. So I have spent all morning cleaning that anchor locker. As I showed you, it was so gross. I had a hose pipe up here and I was rinsing it out using the shop vac to suck up any extra water. And there's this weird compartment behind the shelf where the windlass sits that I literally have to hang over the side to get in there to paint it. Um, so it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna wear a proper PPE suit, um, personal protective equipment. I'm gonna wear one of the white sperm suits um, cause the last time I did some bilge painting, I got paint on me and my skin doesn't like it very much. Um, so Davey actually got me a new mask. So I'm going to wear this as well. Um, cause when I get in there, I have to be quite close to some of the walls as I'm painting. So I really don't want to be breathing in those fumes cause last time that was, as you saw, not fun. <laughs> Foxos, what do you think of boat life? Boatyard life? Huh? You're just chilling. Good girl. All right, so I've just pulled out my suit that I'm gonna put on. Um, these came with uh, the, uh, the kit for the bottom paint um, from Total Boat. Um, but it does say extra large. So this is gonna be fun. I'm probably gonna look ridiculous, but it'll help protect my skin. What did Davey do last time? He left his ears out. <laughs> I look ridiculous. No. All right, we're gonna get hot. What we got going on here, guys? I see. Well, kind of see Erica. She looks a bit like a sperm. <laughs> How's it going, babe? It's hot. It's what? Hot. Is it hot down there? I'm not sure how much you can see guys, I've got sun on the screen and uh, Erica's getting into the back areas there to try and paint that it's up. It's not the greatest job. Don't I can here. translate from uh, mumble to English, apparently it's not a great job, she's saying. Well, I got the aluminium. But... Anyway, it's looking good down there guys. Um, I just actually came up, I needed a slice of leftover pizza from yesterday to keep me going and I needed to grab the water seals to go onto the rebuild so I've started cleaning up the parts for the sail drives and I thought we'd come and check on Erica see how she's doing but she looks good she's in a hole that's the best place for her hey. <laughs> all right check in with you guys in a bit let's crack on all right so that's where I'm sitting Whew. So I think I'm gonna do a second coat on the part where the chain's gonna sit. So basically on the bottom part, probably of both, um, simply because that's where we'll get more um, more action. That's not the right word, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, but gotta let that dry. And behind me, it looks like we might get some rain. So I'm gonna have to try and block the little holes so that we don't get any rain come in here. I know it is epoxy based paint, so it does dry relatively quickly, but still I'd rather it not have puddling water on top of it until it's completely set. But I think I'm gonna leave it there for today and uh, do my second coat and that bit. Um, obviously when I can stand on the other side so I can do that part. But holy crap, that was, a mission and a half to say the least. But I'm thankful to have my mask. This makes it huge, much better. 